Hello everybody, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to insert doors and windows in our projects. This video is indicated for beginners in Revit. And along this explanation, I will teach also some basic features and tips and how we can load new families into a project. Now, before starting, I want to mention that this tutorial is sponsored by RevitFamily.biz a company that creates Revit families for residential projects. Brenton Weberg is the creator of these families and the current ones are the result of years of kind feedback. So each pack contains a vast amount of families. They are fully parametric, have specific features and also each one comes in several types. So if you are curious, click on the link available in the description of the video. There are sample files available for free, so you can try the families out to check if they suit your needs. Finally, if you are interested in purchasing, you will get a discount code of 30% off if you use the code available in the description of the video. Now we can proceed to the tutorial. Doors Now we are going to learn to insert a door in a project. It's quite simple and intuitive. Click on the command at the Architecture tab, then I have to go to a wall and click where I want to add the door. And this is important, doors are hosted elements. They always have to be placed on a wall, because if you try to insert a door in an empty space, you will see that it will not work. Ok, I haven't clicked yet, let's see some tips. If I drag the pointer a bit down, the door opens in the opposite direction. Another feature is pressing the spacebar to flip the location of the opening. After placing a door, it's still possible to flip the direction by clicking on the controls that appear here. Ok, now suppose I want to change this door to a different family or a different door type. It's simple. But before I'm going to make a briefly explanation about the hierarchy in Revit. Doors is a category, as well as windows, walls, stairs are all categories in Revit. Inside a category, in this case the category doors, there can be several families. However, by default in Revit 2020, there is only one family loaded, this one, M single flush, and all the clickable options below are types of that family. In this case, they differ in their dimensions, as you can see in the titles, but sometimes can be the materials used or other features. Families, on the other hand, are defined by the shape and style of the element. For example, in this different project, I have loaded more door families from the Revit libraries that you can get on the Autodesk website. As you can see here, some are interior doors, others exterior doors, some have also glazing, there are double doors, among with very different types. For curiosity, here you can see an interesting sliding door that's available in one of the packs that you can purchase at revitfamily.biz. Here I'm going to load all the types into the project, then wait. And finally, I can add this sliding door. Choose the type and insert it on a wall. To change the door type, keep the element selected. Choose this one, 72 per 80. Ah, and the dimensions are in inches. And now look how the door is resizing from its center. Back to this example. How can I add a new type apart from the ones that I have in this family? That's very simple. You just need to click here in Edit Type, have in mind that the door is selected. And if I wanted, I could actually change the length here. The problem is that this type will be lost. So for me the best is to make a duplicate copy of it. Click here. Now I choose a name for it. 
and finally I can edit the parameters as I want. As you can see, aside from dimension blanks, there are also analytic properties here. Windows To add a window to the project, I do exactly the same process as when I want to add a door. Click on the icon. Then I hover the pointer on this external wall and click to place the window. So it's easy. And then I'm going to insert more windows there. OK, now suppose that I want to change the type for some of the windows. To select several elements, I hold the button control while clicking on the windows. Then I change here to a double window. And that's the result. Now I'm going to open a 3D view. As it doesn't appear on the project browser, I need to click on the View tab and go to 3D view. There are three types here and I'm going to choose default 3D view, this one. So this is the 3D aspect of my project. I can change the view style to a more interesting one. For example, I click in this one, Shade. Now going back to the windows, select this one. And there is an important dimension in windows we should specify. The seal height. It's the distance from the floor to the bottom of the opening. And to edit it, I go to the properties tab and change the current value to the one that I want. Now if I look at the drawing, you can see the window moving up slightly. Let's go back to the floor plan level 1. Suppose I want to change the seal height for all the windows in one time. And now I will take the opportunity to show you a useful trick here. I select all the elements in the floor plan. I go to this tab. And here I can switch to the type of elements that I want to show its properties. I choose Windows. And basically, if I change the seal height, it applies to all of the windows. Ok, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cat in Black to watch the full list of tutorials for beginners in Revit. There are also AutoCAD tutorials if you are interested. So see you next time!